It's reviews of some of the Bratz movies. Starting with Bratz the Video, starring and Stylin'. I'm almost 20, but I still would watch anything related to Bratz, even if it is a one-hour film about the girls betraying and being mean to each other. Yasmin only said sorry because she got caught, and the rest were jerks for discouraging Jade about the outfit she wanted for prom. Anyways, passion for fashion, ladies. I'm sorry, but Jade's punk prom fit was top tier. The girls were just hating. I think I own this in a plastic DVD purse? The marketing of it all. There's something deeply unsettling about this movie. Maybe it's the lack of noses, perhaps the malicious nature of each individual character, or the ten different half-plots that don't seem to add up to anything. This is revolutionary filmmaking. It breaks the unspoken laws set in place by cinema. A runtime of less than an hour, genre-defined, with no real care for what's truly happening in the story. At its core, I'd argue this movie is a psychological thriller. Either you understand Bratz the video, or you simply don't. Unfortunately, most fall short. Everyone is a brat except Cameron. Rock Angels. It's a flashback to how they formed a band, but they don't do anything involving music until the very end, and that's all you need to know. Hitchcock could only dream of crafting a scene with the same emotional intensity as the brats realizing moments before their first concert that they forgot to get guitars for their band. Dude, the transitions in this movie are so wild and random that I don't think I've ever seen it done before in any other movie. And that's saying a lot for a freaking Bratz movie. Chloe having her shoe fall off and not picking it up again. Walking like five steps and have Cameron come around get her shoe for her and having her say, My shoe! You found it! Like, girl. That scene where Jade is like, I'm beyond dead. And then it cuts to her gravestone blowing up. Can't stop thinking about it. Are the Bratz supposed to be teens? Where are their parents? Genuinely curious. Wondering how a bunch of teenagers bought and decorated an office, traveled alone with their friends to England, and started a band with zero money or talent. These girls accomplished more in a week than I did in 19 years of life. When Berdine said, listen to me when I'm ranting, I felt that. Genie magic. Hey, wicked shoes, sister! Huh? But my shoes are not evil. Say what? This Bratz movie is so surreal, it's just about global warming. The Bratz probably killed someone in this movie and then proceed to go, Yes! Love it! We rock! How cool! Zell hissing at Jade, who's hanging from a helicopter, is where cinema reached its peak. Highlights. Kurdistan, Turkestan, Ampersand? I'll never get all those countries straight. So, what's your sign? Sign? Can't say as I... Well, I'm a Leo. It was very nice to meet you, Leo. Help! Bad fashion creeps! Incoming! I found this pistol. But I knew I had more to offer than an incredibly hot bod and face, so I transitioned from supermodel to major movie star. And when I'm tired of that, maybe I'll direct. But I divigate from your question. What was it again? Uh, what are you gonna order? Oh! The animation is so ugly, and I think the reason why is the animators wasted all their time making their hair shiny and full of movement, and not enough time on anything else. In the first 15 minutes, Jade asks out a guy who looks 10 years older than her. The bouncer calls the genie girl a slur. These characters are like 16, how did they get into the club? Look at me, I know the brats are performing here, and the boys probably came in with them, but we know the Tweevils are not smart enough to buy fake IDs. Simon Cowell is here again, and he's a secret agent now. And that's only about the first half of the movie. Passion for fashion. Diamonds. This is a movie that has everything. Alien abductions, evil triplets, cross-dressing Simon Cowell, Byron Powell, iconic bedazzled bootcut jeans, an evil ginger cowgirl, road trips, ghost stories, flying cows, subway chases, evil hitchhikers with missing jaws, three attempted murders, and a pair of diamond boots. With that being said, it's not as iconic as Rock Angels or Fashion Pixies, but an essential part of the Bratz catalog of iconic films. That scene with the diamond go-go boots? Iconic. A story about betrayal, the tragedy of spectacle, and the most deadly weapon in history. Fries. God, I wish Mandy got squashed by that train. Mandy looks like Lana Del Rey. The line... Ha <laughs> ha!
is cinema. Was anyone else left permanently scarred by the scarecrows in this as a kid? If I ever have sleep paralysis, I just know they're gonna show up. The Simon Cowell character, Byron Powell, was in drag, and I'm very happy about it. Fashion Pixies. I turned 18 last week. Where are my wings and my magical powers? The Pixie King wears a Hawaiian shirt. Cool. The curse is that they rave constantly? The evil rave pixies had the right idea, to be honest. The gnomes from Bratz Fashion Pixies aren't real. They can't hurt you. The gnomes. The Irish lawn gnomes were so hot, for real. Do you think he has rabies? Oh, anything's possible. I don't know what I want more. Cymbeline's wardrobe or her hand in marriage. Bratz Kids Sleep Over Adventure. A fun Halloween kids film until the last 10 minutes. Nobody told me this was a psychological horror. I am terrified and so, so, so confused. I feel like reality is slipping away from me. Obviously directed by James Wan and David Lynch. I just remembered this existed, and I also just remembered how scary this stuff was to me when I was a kid. Like, I'm pretty sure this movie was the cause of my anxiety disorder. If my dog started ordering $65 worth of Chinese takeaway at midnight, I'd be spooked too. Bratz Super Babies. I think about this movie, specifically the potato aliens part, at least twice a month. I can't believe I made my parents spend money on a DVD of this. Aside from how ugly this movie is, because it's damn ugly, it gets a star for how psychologically damaging it is not only to the audience, but to its characters. The aliens torture some poor part-time worker to the point of insanity, two old men are shipped off to an alien colony to probably die, and the aliens, who for some reason are potatoes, witness an old lady cook their allies in a massacre. Who wrote this? Ah yes, this nightmare of a movie is the reason why I don't eat potatoes to this day. Bratz Kids, Fairy Tales. All K-pop bands are just copying 7D. Changed my mind. When 7D started performing, my sister turned to look at me and said that it sounded like it could be an EXO song. That will probably haunt me forever. Girls Really Rock, a Bratz musical. We're Gonna Shine seems familiar. <coughs> what time is it for my school musical? <coughs> you couldn't pay me to go to this camp. Can't believe they actually threw Sasha in a lake. Character models, $200. Plot, $150. Music, $800. Hair animation, $3,600. Utility, $150. Someone who is good at the economy, please help me budget this. My family is dying. Brats go to Paris, the movie. International fashion police lady and Berdine definitely had a bit of a romance going on. Lovers to enemies to lovers again trope in cinema. Bruh, that old people making drink freaked the crap out of me when I first saw this in 2013. Fun fact, according to Bratz Wiki, Nicole is the first Bratz antagonist to actually attempt to murder the Bratz.